Hey, what's happening everyone? This is Dwayne Shoots Toys and today we're going to take a look at these miniature WWE figures that I put together. This was just a fun project that I decided to work on one day and I thought it would be cool to show you exactly how I made these boxes and customized these figures. So let's go! The idea for this whole project came to me when I found this pack of mini figures at Toys R Us. It was on sale for $2 so I figured I'd pick them up since they were so cheap. The figures look pretty good considering their size and price. They don't have any points of articulation, but with a few modifications I can make them look similar to the regular sized Mattel action figures. I was going to base these ones on the Elite 65 Roman Reigns and the Basic Series 95 AJ Styles. So I started by removing the bases from the figures. I used an X-Acto knife and I was able to cut them off without too much trouble. Now the arms on this figure were in an outward extended position. So I had to cut them off in order to reattach them in the downward position. I used some crazy glue for this. And you'll probably notice that there's a big gap between the shoulder and the rest of the arm. I'll fix that up with some clay in just a moment. But first I also had to cut off the legs so I could reposition them closer together and I just repeated the same process with some glue. So now that everything was glued together, I filled in those gaps on the shoulders with some polymer clay. I mixed a couple of different colors together to match the skin tone of the figure. This is after everything was glued together. I think I made some slight adjustments to the shoulder positioning later on, but this is basically how it looked. Now I needed to paint a few things on the figure to make it match the larger one. I started by doing the belt, and then later on the boots and the pants. And I used a paint pen to add a tattoo onto the torso. So this was the finished AJ Styles figure. And now I just needed to repeat the same process with the Roman Reigns figure. Cutting off the limbs and repositioning them in the correct way. Now the Roman Reigns figure came with some additional accessories since it's an elite figure. It has a belt and an extra pair of hands. So I used some polymer clay to sculpt these things, and after sculpting them I needed to bake them in the oven to harden them before adding some extra details to the belt. While those were baking, I started to work on replicating these boxes. I took the figure out, unfolded the box and flattened it so that I'd be able to scan it into my computer. The box was a little bit bigger than my scanning bed, so I had to scan it a few times and then stitch all the pieces together in Photoshop. I created templates for both boxes and then printed them out onto matte photo paper. And I cut out the templates. For the Roman Reigns box, I used a blade to cut out the space where the clear window would go, which I will add in just a second. And after folding them up, this is what the boxes look like. Now I needed to actually make the transparent plastic windows. For this, I used some leftover packaging from the box of minifigures. I basically cut it into the shape that I wanted and then used some glue to attach it to the other part of the box. So this is what the box looked like without the figure inside. I used some more scrap packaging to create an inner tray for the figure to lie on. I glued some additional pieces to the side and then stuck the accessories on top as well. And as you can see, I added some extra detail to the belt that I had sculpted earlier after it had finished baking. At this point, it was just a matter of sliding the tray inside and then closing up the box. That was it for Roman Reigns. The AJ Styles figure was a little bit different since it came in basic packaging. I had to find a larger piece of plastic and fold it into the right shape and then glue everything together. And eventually I ended up with these as the final products. So that's it. One last thing, if you're new to my channel, I'm also a toy photographer. I create a lot of different types of art with action figures. And if you want to see my work, go check me out on Instagram. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.